How would you describe your prayer life? What is it like when you pray? When do you pray? Has your prayer life grown as you get older? Matured as your relationship with God matures? Or are you praying the same way you've been praying since second grade? Since when you first received, oh, let me back up. Tongue twister. You wrote it. I know. How would you describe your prayer life? What is it like when you pray? When do you pray? Has your prayer life grown as you get older? Matured as your relationship with God matures? Or are you praying the same way you have been praying since second grade? When you received your first communion or when you were confirmed? Our readings today speak of prayer and the place and importance of prayer in your life. Our first reading in particular could be summarized in all things pray. Suffering, pray. In good spirits, pray. Sick or ill, pray. You see, when you pray, you are given the opportunity, the privilege to enter the realm of the divine, an opportunity to pierce into the heavens, to be in communion and in dialogue with God, to find oneself in the presence of the angels and the saints. That is the power of prayer. It is like the air that you breathe. And if you, if we are to live, you need to breathe. We need to breathe. The same for prayer. If we are to live, we need to pray. The very act of breathing could be a prayer. Our gospel reading invites us to be in relationship with God, with full faith, complete trust, and dependence on Him, in communion with Him. God invites us to come to Him like a child. And our God, who created us, will take care of our needs, will listen to our prayers, and like a good parent, will always welcome us home with open arms and an embrace. Because you see, God loves you. He always has.